Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is what we are going to design today. Using these two colors. I'm using half packets of the yellow and one full packet of the blue. We need the fishing line size 0 0.7 millimeters. I'm using the sugar beads. I'm using sugar beads in size 8. Let's start with four beads. Put all the four beads on your fishing line and cross with the fourth one you added. Bring the fishing line. I said two. Put one on your right and two on your left fishing line and cross with the second one on your left. So I have two on my left and one on my right. So I'm crossing with this second one on the left. So we're going to repeat step two till we get a ring of 14. And I cross with the second one on my left. I'm on the thirteenth ring. One on the right, two on the left, and cross with the second one on my left. Okay, so I'm, instead of putting two on the left and one on the right on the fourteenth ring, we are putting all the three on the right hand fishing line. So when you get to the fourteenth ring, put all your three beads on the right hand of your fishing line. One. Take note of this part because this is where it gets confusing, especially if you are a beginner. So when you get to your, your final row or whatever length you are doing, for this project we are doing 14 rings as it's going to be our base, 14. So when you done 13, you go to your 14th ring, put all your beads on the right hand of the fishing line and cross with the third one. So I have my three, I'm going to cross, I'm crossing with the third one, this one. This one. I'm putting the third one, crossing. Can you see where it brought us now? Now we are on the other side. Now it brought us to this side now. So you flip your work. When you flip it, the fishing line is facing you, the one facing you, not this one going in, not the one going in, the one facing you. You are going to put three beads on it on the fishing line facing you after flipping don't forget to flip your work put your three beads on the fishing line facing you this is the one facing me and three beads are on me and i'm crossing with the third bead i added and once i cross i can start building on the row now i'm passing the right hand fishing line into the next bead this one to enter into the next ring, I pass my right hand fishing line into the next bead and I go up. With the, right, with the left hand fishing line, I'm putting two beads and I'm crossing with the second bead. Left fishing line, add two beads and cross with the right fishing line. Next ring is done. Now go to ring three. Pass with your right fishing line into row 3, into the ring of 3, enter one bead and go up, go, go up and we do the same thing, put two beads on the left hand fishing line and cross with the second one, there is one and there is two. I have two beads and I'm crossing with the second one I added. We are doing the same thing, entering the next bead with the right hand fishing. Now I'm doing the final ring, the 14th ring. Passing with my right hand fishing line. So now we are on the 14th ring. You enter with the same right fishing line. And this time you put all the two beads on the right fishing line. Second row, when you get to the 14th line, you are, this time we are using two beads because there is already two beads here. 
and we are doing a range of four. So you put your two beads on the right hand side of the fishing line and lock with the second bead. So when you lock, it's bringing you this way. Flip your walk. Now we are starting row three now. We start with three beads. To start a new row, put all your three beads on the same fishing line facing you. Not the one on this side, not the one going this way. The fishing line facing you. Put three beads and unlock with the third bead. Here is my three beads, so I'm locking with the third one I added. Okay, same thing. So enter with your right fishing line into the next bead. Welcome back. My matting is complete. It's 14 by 8. Short side 14, long side 8. So eight. I'm now taking a new fishing line. You cut a new, once you get your 14 by 8, take a new fishing line. Skip on the long side, go on the long side. Skip the first ring and enter the next one. So I'm going to skip the very first one and I'm entering this one with my fishing line. You want to start shaping the side of the bag. That's how it should look like. This should, this should be the beginning of our shaping of the bag. Take the right hand fishing line and do the same thing we did. Enter the next bead. Go into the next bead. This Go into the next row with your right hand fishing line. So when you get to the final stop, where you are stopping, you put two beads on the right hand fishing line, the right side, and lock with the second one. You can see the first shaping is done. You can see the shaping on both sides. Now we are going to walk our way to this place. We are not starting where we stop. We walk our way to the next ring. So just watch closely. I'm going to pass my fishing line till I get to the next row of four. So you see, I didn't start from where I stopped. I'm walking my way to the next row of four before starting. So I stopped here. I'm not starting here. I'm starting in the next row. After the shape, where I stopped, I'm not stopping starting there, the next row. So I'm just walking my fishing line to the next row where I will be starting. So now we skipped where we stopped. I've passed my fishing line into the next ring of four. So I'm going to start again with three beads. So you put the three beads on the side of the fishing line facing you. And you cross with the third one. So I'm crossing with the right hand fishing line. The next shape is formed. So now we keep passing into the next ring pass with the right hand into the next ring of four add two beads on the left hand fishing line and lock with the second bead into the next one so continue by walking your way and stop before the last ring like we did for the first one. So instead of stopping here, we are stopping the one before the last. So that's where you are stopping. So continue till you get 10 on this side. Well, the last one, before, the one before the last, that's where I'm stopping. So you go twice, 
until you get 10 by 8 for this side. So you, you have to go twice. You go this way and then this way. So if you can't, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you can't and make sure it's 10 by 8. So I'm going to do the same thing for this side as well. I'm going to shape this side. This side is already shaped. You can see the shape on both sides. So we are doing the same thing for this side. Keep your shape in place. You keep the shape of the structure in place. You tie. Now our matting is done. 10 by 8. So we are starting from here to make the body of the bag. So I'm starting from here on the long side. I'm starting on the, from the long side. From the very first matting. I'm passing my fishing line. The very first one. I'm putting three beads on my right hand of the fishing line. Now we are building the body of the bag. Three beads and I'm locking with the third one. Start the next bead with your right fishing line. This one, the very next one. So I started with three beads and I locked with the third one. Now I passed into the next bead two beads on my left fishing line and I'm locking with the second bead. Lock with the second bead. <clears throat> so you're going to continue with two, two beads. Now it's done. We enter the next bead. I have done. So you can see the, this, the, the, the edges. The edges are going to be like that. Don't worry. Just continue working. That's how your, the edges of the bag will look like. This, this edge that we shaped is going to look like this. So you make a row of four and you leave this place open. So you're leaving this side open. You leave this side open. You do the same thing four times. So you have to weave round four times and then we join our bag. And mine is attached. So you take a new fishing line and you enter into the first bead. You drop one bead on one side of the fishing line like this so this side is free your bead is on this side of the fishing line and you bring the other side of the bag on it and you enter the first bead on the other side of the bag so here's my first bead I'm entering with my fishing line into the bag you take one more bead you drop it on your left hand of the fishing line and you cross with the right hand of the fishing line. So the first part is closed. With your right fishing line, enter the next bead, this one. And with your left fishing line, enter the next bead at the top side of the bag, this one. Pull your fishing lines together firmly. Drop one bead on your left fishing line and cross with the right fishing line. So we are going to continue the same thing till we fill up the whole bag. So with the bag is ready. Look at how beautiful it is.